So today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful, delicate cosmos flower. And cosmos come in lots of different um, shapes and colours, but today I've chosen to show you one that is a very pale pink variety with this darker pink around the edges and in the centre. And so I'm going to use a cosmos um, cutter and veiner set. And the one I'm using is by Petal Crafts, but you don't need to use this exact set if you have a slightly different one. And Cosmos tend to have around eight petals. So what I've done first of all is um, cut four 30 gauge wires in half to make eight stems. And I'm gonna begin with some really pale pink paste. So this is just really, really pale. And I'm going to pinch a small amount off. And just give it a light knead. And I'm going to rub a little bit of white vegetable fat onto my veining board. And I'm using a sort of small to medium groove on here. And for my Cosmos, I like to have the petals really, really thin. So I'm rolling this out super thin. So you can see, you can see the board shining through there or showing through. So you can see how thin it is. And I'm just going to cut out the petal. And I'm going to cut out three at a time. So now that I've cut out one, I'll just re-knead the paste, put some more white veg fat, and do the same again. And again, going super thin. So when I'm cutting, I'm just lining up the bottom of the cutter with the base of the vein. And I'm going to make one more. And when you're cutting out your petals, just make sure that you've got them all the right same, same way around. So make sure you're not alternating your cutter the way you're, the which way you're cutting it. Oops. So I'm now just going to take one of my wires and dip it in a little bit of water and then thread this through to about halfway into the vein. Pinch it at the base to secure it and then I'm just going to thin it on my cell pad. So I don't want to widen the petal at all here. I'm just lengthening it to thin it. And then I'm going to press it into my veiner. Oops. Oops. 
So one final touch, I'm just going to take my Dresden tool and using the narrow end, I'm just going to thin it slightly further just by pulling uh, down the length of the lines that have already been made by the veiner and just pulling down to make a few extra lines and just to lengthen slightly and thin out the edges a little bit further. And once I've done that, I'm just going to take one of these plastic soup spoons and I'm going to lie the petal inside to give it a little bit of shape. You don't want it too curved here, so it's only the edges that are really curving and then the rest of the petal is sitting quite flat. And then I'll leave that to dry and get on and make one of the petals. So I'll do these both at the same time. So just threading the wire into about halfway. And then just lengthen and thin the petals with your ball tool. And press them each into the veiner. And then finally with the Dresden tool, just add some lines along where the veiner has left some impressions already and just tease out the edges slightly. This just makes them super delicate at the ends and it gives them less of a uniform appearance as well. So you want them all to be slightly different. And then just grab your soup spoon and lay the petals in there to dry. So I'm now going to do exactly the same to make my remaining five petals.
I'm now going to let these petals firm up completely in the spoons and then they'll be ready for dusting. So I'm now going to make my Cosmos centres and I have some um, burgundy coloured thread here which I'm going to use. Uh, if you don't have this coloured thread you, you could use white and then use some petal dust just to colour it. So I'm going to take the thread and just wrap it around three of my fingers about 50 times. So I'm just going to cut the end and then I've got two um, pieces of 30 gauge wire here and I'm just going to twist this into a figure of eight and then fold it back on itself like that and then take one of the 30 gauge wires, just thread it through the loop and then twist it to secure it. Like that. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Thread it through the loop. And then twist to secure. So you want the thread to be held nice and tightly in there. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to take some white floral tape, and this is a half width. Oops. And I'm just going to tape the very end So it's just a tiny bit gathering the cotton and then just carry on down the wire. So you'll see it's just gathered at the end there. I'll do the same on the other side. So just the very end of the cotton, just gather it together with the tape. Go around a few times and then tape down the wire. And you should end up with this. So now take your scissors and you just want to cut right through the centre of that thread. And you now have the beginning of two centres. So what I'm going to do first is just give this a bit of a trim. So I'm just going to have the, just even out the centre and then I'm just going to go round the edges and have them tapering off slightly. So the centre is going to be slightly longer than the edges. Just like that. And I'll do the same with the other one. So at the moment it's all one length. And I'm just going to go around the edges and just taper them off slightly. Okay, so it's like that. So now I've got some edible glue and using my brush I'm just going to brush some edible glue onto the ends of the thread here. Alternatively you could just dip the thread into the glue but sometimes that can leave a bit of thread in there so I'm just going to do it this way around just to save my glue and keep it clean. 
okay. And once I've done that, I'm just going to dip it in, oops, dip it into this mixture here. So I've got um, fine semolina or um, cornmeal, which I've added a little, little bit of yellow petal dust to, to make it this yellow pollen colour. So you just dip it in and the glue will just help to coat the ends of the thread there. And I have a tutorial for making this pollen as well. So I'll put a link to that. So then I'm just gonna slightly separate this out here. So you've still got a bit of burgundy showing through as well. And then I will do the same with the other one. And just make sure it's a little bit separated out. Okay, now I have some 24 gauge wire here and I'm just going to attach this to the base just to make it a bit stronger. And I'll do the same with the other one. And then you want to leave these to dry completely as well before assembling. So my petals have now dried and I'm ready to dust them. So I'm going to take a tiny amount of this Rolcom Iris colour. And I have some Squire's Kitchen Rose. And I'm just going to mix a little bit of each together. And I have a little bit of uh, kitchen towel here just to dust off any excess. So only adding a tiny bit of dust here. So I'm going to start in the centre and just brush up from the centre to fade out the dust. And then I'm going to go in and just catch the edges. And then just bring it round to the centre. But you can have a play with different ways of dusting with this. If you have some, have a look at some pictures of Cosmos. There are so many different varieties for different colours. So don't feel you need to go this way. I'll dust each petal in exactly the same way. So starting at the centre and then just catching the edges to bring the colour all the way around.
So now that they are all dusted, we can now move on to assembling them around the centre. So I'm going to take my white floral tape again. And one of my centres here. And I'm just going to attach the tape around the centre. And then I'm just going to add one petal at a time. So I'm just going to bend the wire away. So hold the base of the, the top of the wire at the base of the petal and just bend it away from you so that it's at that angle to attach it. And I'm just going to attach a petal one at a time, sitting right up against the base of this centre. And I'm not going in any particular order here. Just want to work them around the center. So I've got five in so far, I'm just going to open the petals out more and then I'll just start to put the remaining three in the gaps. So there's a bit of a gap here so I'm going to pop this one underneath. And then there's a bit of a gap here so I'll pop another one there. And just open it out and see. I think I'm going to put my final petal in here. And once they're all in place, just tape down to secure the rest of the wires in place. And then just move out your centre and have a play with the positioning of the petals until you're happy. And then I'm going to tape some green tape along the stem now.
Okay, so I'm now gonna make the calyx and I'm gonna use green floral tape for this. This is an optional step. You don't have to do a calyx. Um, if it's not gonna be seen, you don't necessarily have to have this bit. But I'll show you how to do a calyx as well. So I'm gonna cut eight lengths of floral tape, and this is half width. So they're about five centimeters long, probably. And then I'm just going to stretch to release the glue and then pinch the end and twist it to create something like that. I'm going to do exactly the same with all eight of them. So you're effectively creating the sepals of the calyx here. So you want them all about the same length. So I'm just stretching to release the glue and then pinching oops, and rolling to create this shape. Okay, once they're all shaped, we're then going to take the underside of the cosmos and just press the tape up to the edge like that. And this excess bit of tape, you're just going to wrap around the stem to secure it in place. So it should look like that. And what I'm going to do is work on the opposite side now with the second one. To try and get them spaced evenly, we'll go opposites first. So, pop that there. And then just pinch, and the glue should just stick it around the stem. So I've done opposite sides, I'm now going to go directly in the middle of those two. And then the same on the other side again. And then go in between them again. And then I'll go in between these two. And then just carry on in your last two gaps. I'll take one final piece of tape just to secure them all in place, just on the stem. So, it should look something like that. And if you think they're a bit long, you can always trim these down a bit and just have a play and bend them out slightly as well. OK, 
Okay, and now we're going to move on to making the leaves. So I'm now going to make, show you how to make some leaves. Um, these are a couple that I've already made. So they're just using this um, green floral tape, half width and a 30 gauge piece of wire. So I've already pre-cut some lengths of the green tape and they're about five centimetres. And then I have a couple of slightly longer bits here as well. I'm going to start off by taking a longer bit and just releasing the glue by pulling it to stretch it. And then I'm going to do the same as for the calyx and just twist it to create this narrow leaf. And now I'll take one of the shorter pieces and twist that. And I'll do this with a few of them. And you want to just vary the lengths so you have some shorter pieces twisted and a few longer pieces. And if the ends end up being a bit chunky and won't twist properly, you can always go in with your scissors and just trim it down to a point. So I've got a few lengths to work with there. So take your longer piece and then one of your shorter pieces and just twist them together like this. And then once they're nice and secure, you can trim the shorter end off like that. and then go in and add another one. So there's no exact way of doing this. I'm all doing them slightly randomly, so they're coming off at different sides and they're different lengths and things. So you want to end up with a slightly random appearance like this. So this one I'll pop on this side and then I'm just gonna twist them together to secure them again. And then once it's nice and secure, just trim off this short bit of tape and this just prevents you from getting a build up and lots of bulk of tape if you keep trimming it off. So now that I've got a few lengths on there, I'm actually going to attach this to a wire. So this is a 30 gauge wire and I'm just twisting it down to secure it. But I have a little bit of wire showing here so I'm just going to go in with a bit more tape to cover that up. So this is now the main leaf which I'm going to add to. So I'll take one of my longer bits again and give that a bit of a twist. Then add in some shorter bits, twisting them together, trimming off the excess. And then add another one. I think I'll add one more to that. Okay, and now I'm going to add this to the main wire. So I'm going to have it coming off a bit further down, about here. Okay. 
And then once it's on, you can just have a play around and move things into position. I'm going to do one more. So starting with my longer piece. And then a few shorter ones. Okay, now I'll add this onto the main stem. So I'm going to go a bit further down again. So I might just add this final one on here. Okay, so now I'm going to add them onto the flower. So I'm going to have this smaller one near the top. Then add a slightly larger one. Just keep taping down. And then I'll have this one at the bottom. And just tape down to cover up any remaining wire. And that's your finished Cosmos. So depending on where it's going to be positioned, you can then add some extra wire into the bottom for stability if you need it. But you just have a play around bending out the leaves till you're happy with the positioning. And that's it. <laughs>